What is up guys, Jaco here, and welcome to Yu-Gi-Oh! Engineering, a show in which we will take an engine, look at it, dissect it, and research how it works and which decks are better with it. This time we will be taking on one of fan's favorite engines. We will be looking at our card armory, so let's see if we can find something useful. The artifacts as an archetype and as an engine were introduced in Primal Origin, which was released on May 16th, 2014, so almost five years ago. The engine was always used to provide disruption during the opponent's turn and was even meta at some point, especially during the summer of the year of its release, when it was a part of a dreadful hat deck, in which it was partnered with the trap tricks and the hand. After that format, the engine fell into obscurity, but it kept on evolving. I'll be going over both the old version of the engine from 2014 and the modern one, so without further ado, let's get started. The core of the old engine was using Artifact Sanctum and Artifact Moral Attack at 3 copies each. Those cards have the following effect. Artifact Sanctum is a normal trap which can special summon one artifact monster from your deck. You can only activate one Artifact Sanctum per turn. You cannot conduct your battle phase the turn you activate this card. If this card in its owner's possession is destroyed by an opponent's card, you can target one card on the field, destroy it. Artifact Moral Attack is a level 5 light fairy type effect monster with, with the following effect. You can set this card from your hand to your spell and trap zone as a spell. During your opponent's turn, if this set card in the spell and trap zone is destroyed and sent to the graveyard, special summon it. If this card is special summoned during the opponent's turn, you can destroy one face-up card your opponent controls. The engine provides a good amount of disruption by destroying cards during the opponent's turn, especially moral attacks since his effect doesn't target. It also gives the player a psychological advantage over the opponent, since when your opponent blindly tries to destroy your back row and hit Sanctum, you get to destroy two cards instead of one. Helping maintain field presence by summoning the artifact to the field is also a nice feature that comes with the engine. The extra monster can be used in material for an extra deck summon. The engine focuses on disruption, and due to its build, it cannot help in a combo deck, since it can become a brick from time to time. Drawing any of the artifact doesn't help, since most of the time you won't be able to summon them via their own effect. You also need to take into account that the engine is easily stopped by one of the most popular hand trips in the game, Ash Blossom and Joint Strikes. Well, since Sanctum summons from the deck. It's an extremely splashable engine that can be played in pretty much everything. However, you need to remember that although it provides a decent amount of disruption, it's very reactive. You need your opponent to play cards for you to destroy. Also, you need to take into account the brick factor. Drawing artifacts will make your hand very bad, therefore means of returning the monsters to the deck are preferable. With the ever-growing popularity of extra deck focused decks in the recent years, there was a need for an engine to stop this sort of play. Enter Artifact Sight. The core build of the engine is pretty much the same as the old one, except you swap Moral Attack for Artifact Sight. Artifact Sight is a level 5 light fairy type effect monster with the following effect. You can set this card from your hand to your spell and trap zone as a spell card. During your opponent's turn, when this set card in your spell and trap zone is destroyed and sent to the graveyard, special summon it. When this card is special summoned during the opponent's turn, your opponent cannot special summon monsters from the extra deck for the rest of this turn. As we all know, not letting your opponent play has become a standard of first time play. I have to say that nothing says it better than locking the extra deck summons. No synchro, no fusion, no axes, and most notably, no link. This engine puts most of the current meta at least a turn behind, <laughs> and we know that one turn is all that's needed to finish it. Also, this engine is proactive, meaning you can use it in advance to stop your opponent's plays before they happen, giving a nice psychological advantage as well as a tempo one. Like the old engine, this one is very prone to brick, and it's susceptible to the same hand trap. Uh, due to its nature, this engine has little to no place in highly combo-centric decks. If you're playing something that's focusing more on controlling the field than on disruption, like Altergeist for example, this might be something you'll like to look at. And this ends our little venture into the secret vault of the artifacts. It was a brief look, but I hope you got some new knowledge from it just like I did. Be sure to like, comment and subscribe if you like this video. See you next week on Twitch, where I'll be taking a trip to the satellite on Saturday and continue to rule my kingdom on Sunday. See you there!